There's a new film called The Hill. It is in theaters right now, and it's based on the real-life story of Ricky Hill, whose journey to Major League Baseball faced some serious limitations, including a struggle to walk. Well, Ricky joined us in Studio 5, along with the film's director. You can't play baseball. My not swing that bad. I ain't crippled no more. How did you get connected to Ricky's story? Well, my brother was in a hotel lobby uh, on a business meeting, and he was sitting next to Ricky. He didn't know him from anything. And Ricky was on the phone describing how he was looking for a director to tell his life story, and that he had interviewed about 40 directors in L.A., and had not had one that he felt connected to. And he said, um, I have the perfect director for you, um, my brother. Tag game, bottom of the ninth. At bat, Ricky Hill. When everybody said, please give it up, move on, you, you know, I said, well, I've got the financing raised three times. It's fallen through. Mm -hmm. It's I'm never going to quit. And I I was very similar to Ricky in the sense that Ricky never was going to quit playing baseball. He would not listen to anybody. Um, they said, you'll be in a wheelchair. You're, you'll you'll get bullied as a kid. You know, just don't think about being a baseball player. Do something else in your life. And he was determined to play no matter what. Ricky, I've seen you out there swinging that stick, even when you're suffering pain. But you can't play baseball. You're going to get ridiculed, and you're going to wind up with an injury that you'll never get over. Cut his cast off his broken leg, um, you know, went through all these different tragedies, and then ended up trying out for the major leagues. and. And and the end of the movie, he did a miracle that I can't tell you about now, but it's astounding what he actually achieved. But all I want to do is play. When I swing that bat, I ain't crippled no more. And gone, senior Ricky Hill. So, Ricky, when did you know your story was a story that we needed to see? Well, I actually, I actually really didn't know that mm. at all, other than my church where I go to mm -hmm. and um, my my brother wrote a story for our family only wow. and for our family to read and a man at our church got the uh, he got this story read it and he immediately took off to Hollywood with it so you might be better but you are not healed your bones are rapidly depleting then be a miracle if you ever walk again it was just, uh, then I knew, I felt really good about everything about it. What my brother wrote was just beautiful, mm -hmm. and everything else was just beautiful and about the whole story. People see this story and see you. What was it that made you keep pushing? Why did you not just sit down and give up? There's, there's, there's no such thing as quit. I have a, a great relationship. Um, with heaven and and my godly morals and uh also let me know do not you do not stop you seen this major league trials you're gonna paralyze him i don't need you filling him full of false hope he's my son you know because your dad was a preacher and here you are standing up to your preaching dad <laughs> and in fact your entire family is standing up to your preaching dad and giving him godly principles about why he, he can't say, say no. What was that fight like? I mean, fighting a godly man with godly principles yourself? Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. It was, uh, it was a pretty tough little road. Uh, uh, but one thing about it was he always, always uh, joyfully came in and gave me some great advice, always was spiritually fed, fed and feeding me all the time. And uh, I knew the direction because this guy gave it to me. Ricky, baseball had to end eventually. Time to figure out what you're going to do with the rest of your life. They said he will never walk, and he ran. How many miracles do you need? Now, do we see you in the film? Yeah, unfortunately, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ricky, what's it like? What was it like on the set watching someone relive and replay your story? Ups and downs. Mm. I, I had great moments 
And I had a lot of moments I had to walk away. Wow. It, because... It was an emotional ride for Ricky. Because they acted so well. Everything was done so well that it was like I was living it all over again. You're playing to join the elite. I'm one of the best hitters you're ever going to see. A bad leg can cost the team wins and money. What do you think your dad would say about this? He'd have the biggest smile on his face and saying, saying, and saying that it, this, this is glory. This is absolutely glory. And he would say, about, if he saw it, that I didn't know that I actually developed and did all these things. But he did so much. That's true. Number one, it was number one was souls. All your hopes. I cannot do this alone. Dreams. It's your time, Ricky! Determination and sacrifices have come down to this. And The Hill is in theaters right now. For more uplifting entertainment news, be sure to join us for an all-new edition of Studio 5 tonight. Dr. Ian Smith joins us with a formula to burn fat. We're going to have your first look at a film based on a true story of music, love, and redemption. It's called Dreamin' Wild. And a nun investigating a crime only to find a startling surprise. It's also a new film. You can catch it on the CBN News Channel tonight at 8.30 Eastern. You can also watch it on the CBN News app or